Morning friends, let's read our Bible today friends in 2 Samuel chapter 7. God's promise to David. After the king was settled in his palace and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies around him, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am living in a palace of cedar. Well, the ark of God remains in a tent. Nathan replied to the king, Whatever you have in mind, go ahead and do it, for the Lord is with you. That night the word of the Lord came to Nathan, saying, Go and tell my servant David. This is what the Lord says, Are you the one to build me a house to dwell in? I have not dwelt in a house on the day I brought the Israelites up out of Egypt to this day. I have been moving from place to place with a tent as my dwelling. Wherever I have moved with all the Israelites, did I ever say to any of their rulers whom I, I commanded to, sh to shepherd my people Israel, Why have you not built me a house of cedar? Uh, now then, tell my servant David, this is what the Lord Almighty says, I took you from the, Lord's, from the Lord, from the pasture and from following the flock. This is what the Lord Almighty says, I took you from the pasture and from following the flock and from following the flock to be ruler over my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you have gone. I have cut off all your enemies from before you. Now I will make your name great. Like like the names of the greatest men of the earth. And I will provide a place for my people Israel and will plant them so that they can have a home of their own and no longer be disturbed. Wicked people will not oppress them anymore as they did at the beginning and have done ever since the time I appointed leaders over my people Israel. I will also give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord declares to you that the Lord himself will establish a house for you. When your days are over and you, you rest will, with your fathers, I will raise up your offspring to succeed you, who will come from your own body, and I will establish his kingdom. He is the one who will build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Nathan reported to David all the words of this entire revelation. David's prayer. Then King David went in and sat before the Lord, and he said, Who am I, O sovereign Lord, and what is my family, that you have brought me this far? And, I, and as if this were not enough in your sight, O sovereign Lord, you have also spoken about the future of the house of your servant. Is this your usual way of dealing with men, O sovereign Lord? What more can David say to you? For you know your servant, O sovereign Lord. For the sake of your word and according to your will, you have done this great thing and made it known to your servant. How great you are, O sovereign Lord. There is no one like you and there is no God but you. As we have heard with our own ears, and who is like your people, Israel? The one nation on earth that God went out to redeem as a people for himself, and to make a name for himself, and to perform great and awesome wonders by driving out nations and their gods from before your people whom you redeemed from Egypt. You have established our people Israel as your, as your, as your very own forever, and you, O Lord, have become their God. And now, Lord God, keep forever the promise you have made concerning your servant and his house. Do as you promise that your name will be great forever. Then men will say, The Lord Almighty is God over all Israel, and the house of your servant David will be, thus, will be established before you. O Lord God Almighty, God of Israel, you have revealed this to your servant, saying, I will build a house for you. So your servant has found courage to offer you this prayer. O sovereign Lord, you are God. Your words are trustworthy, and you have promised these good things. To your servant now be pleased to bless the house of your servant 
that it may continue forever in your sight. For you, O Sovereign Lord, have spoken, and, in, and with your blessing, the house of your servant will be blessed forever. So King David was, um, uh, was the king of Israel. He was a slave before, but God <clears throat> had um, given him power because he, he loves God and he obeyed the Lord. And he became a king of Israel. And Nathan the prophet was given the Lord um, the, the, the vision to tell David what, what, what to say to David, what God wants to David to, to do during the time. And Nathan told David about, about the plans of the Lord that he's going to build a house of the Lord. And, and so David did what the what Nathan said and and David pray earnestly to the Lord for giving thanks to God for saving the people of Israel and blessing them and giving them victories against their enemies so for us let's all we cannot make a house or a temple for the Lord this time we can make a house of the Lord by Anywhere in our house, anywhere we need to pray, read, read the Bible, we do good to other people. That's that's how we are going to make a house for the Lord. Um, we can offer, we cannot bur make give burnt offerings to God in these times, but we can give offerings by pray praying to the Lord, giving thanks to the Lord, and sharing what we have to other people, so that the Lord will be pleased for us. The, and we will, as we continue to follow the Lord, all our enemies will be defeated. And the Lord will bless us in all areas of our lives. So continue, continue your faith to God and do not, um, do not be discouraged. Just because um, the Lord will always give you victory against your enemies. Our enemies are problems, bad people behind us. So just keep continue and praying to the Lord and and always um, give the Lord time by reading the Bible and prayers. So thank you for reading the Bible with me, friends. God bless you all. Take care.